So big stuff for Ubisoft's Far Cry franchise today. There's a lot of excitement that is being generated with rumors of a new installment dubbed Project Maverick. Now this is apparently a departure from the traditional single player Far Cry experience and instead this is going to offer an extraction based multiplayer shooter set in an Alaskan inspired world. So players will gather resources and loot, enhancing their gear and perks to boost their capabilities abilities, kind of like a typical extraction based shooter. This is kind of a trend that's getting uh, very popular I'm seeing with a lot of modern day shooters. For a while it was definitely Battle Royale and you know that is still a very popular category but I'm seeing now that these extraction based shooters are very popular. Just to name a couple big ones, DMZ from Call of Duty and then Escape from Tarkov, that's probably the biggest one. Now notably Project Maverick will introduce Permadeath which resets the game upon character death while retaining store items. The game is expected in April 2025, having evolved significantly during its development. But it is vital to note that Project Maverick is not Far Cry 7. So it's not uh, the sole Far Cry project, and it looks like a unique aspect of the game is also the inclusion of what's called a hideout, which serves as the player's base of operations and a secure repository for the weapons, gear, gadgets, and other valuable items that they have accumulated. Project Maverick will offer both solo and team-based experiences, enabling teammates to share the same hideout and the same rewards they've collected. And now this is actually kind of giving me Rust vibes, which I think sounds great for Far Cry. I think those environments would actually mesh really well. And it looks like Project Maverick is slated for release before Far Cry 7, so before the next actual installment in the series. The game is scheduled to enter the alpha phase in the first half of 2024, so that'll actually be pretty soon. I would expect we'll be getting a lot of news on this uh, very soon. I think Ubisoft's been doing really well recently. I'm not really sure how X Defiant is going to end up turning out, but I think this sounds really cool. I think this could have a lot of potential. I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of ready for uh, Battle Royales to kind of expire their time as, you know, the it genre of games. And while these extraction-based shooters have been gaining a lot of traction recently, I don't think they've gone really mainstream yet, or at least not on consoles. PCs have it good, okay? PCs, uh, they can play everything. Thing. But when you're stuck with just a console, you can't play the really cool games like Escape from Tarkov. Whereas this new Far Cry game, I think it would probably come to consoles. This might be a sleeping giant. This might be the next very big game. And more importantly, this could expose a lot of people to extraction-based shooters and make it a lot more mainstream. If we are getting the alpha in the first half of next year, I'm definitely expecting news on this in the very, very near future.